Good afternoon, this is Luke Robinson with the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana with your planning briefing for September 22nd. So for the next couple days we'll see uh, our humidity values slowly drying through midweek uh, compared to where we have been uh, the past uh, couple days. And then we're looking at dry and windy conditions for the Beaverhead Deer Lodge National Forest tomorrow and Thursday. And then also we're uh, tracking a storm system that is expected to bring us a chance for wetting rains Thursday through Saturday, especially in the terrain across the Northern Rockies. This type of weather setup is conducive for uh, many of the valleys across the region to be downsloped. Scattered showers will linger through the area Sunday and Monday. So to start off with the uh, weather threat matrix, we do have a few areas highlighted for uh, wind and dry conditions, with the dry conditions being uh, around southwest Montana for tomorrow and Thursday. Elsewhere, we're just looking at an increase in west-southwest winds. So here's our forecast for the uh, minimum humidity values for tomorrow and Thursday. Most locations, in the, especially in the valleys across western Montana and north central Idaho, will see their min RHs getting into the low to mid 20s. Uh, some areas across northwest Montana may not uh, get down below 30 percent. And then with Thursday, we will see an increase in moisture and uh, in the form of clouds and a few and some rain. Uh, so a lot of places will see their minimum. RH is increasing, uh, except for southwest Montana where we're expect expecting it to remain dry. So here's the uh, maximum wind gust that we have forecasted for tomorrow and Thursday. Uh, you'll see an increase in wind starting in the afternoon across uh, the northern Rockies on Wednesday and then they'll continue to increase during the day on Thursday. As for precipitation, we are looking at this coming into uh, two different waves. The first wave, the majority of the precip will be in the mountains. As I mentioned before, uh, many of the valleys across the region will be downsloped with the uh, strong upper level westerly winds. And then going into Friday evening and Saturday, we are looking at uh, a little bit more moisture to work with. Uh, but again, uh, a lot of the valleys uh, will see lower lower values given the uh, the strength of the upper level winds downsloping the valleys. But the uh, the terrain across the area should see a good wetting rain. So after this this weekend, we are looking at conditions to to dry out. So for the next six to ten day outlook, we are expecting to have below normal precipitation. And then after this weekend, we are looking at a ridge building across the uh, western uh, portions of the United States. So we will start to see our afternoon high temperatures increasing slightly above above normal for this time of the year. And again just to highlight the weather threat matrix we are highlighting uh, much of the region for uh, gusty winds and then southwest Montana for the gusty winds and dry conditions. That concludes the briefing for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you.